Hello and welcome to Quirky Cat Crafts. This is Sherry. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to get some tiles into the oven so that tomorrow I can make some more progress. Progress. I haven't done much today. Um, so usually it's these two fingers on this hand that I can't bend. And I'm not going to lie, they're stiff, but at least I can make a fist. But now this finger, for some reason, is like I can't. I have to really work to make it straight and and it's like it's pulling all the way down into the palm of my hand so um but we're gonna do the best we can all right so first thing is this is a new color of sculpey souffle and it is called glacier and i thought well how perfect is that and i have this stencil from a company called makin's um, and they are clay stencils and, um, it doesn't have a name on it of what it's called, but the texture just kind of makes me think of like the edges of the glaciers. And so I'm going to try this out and make an impression and then rub white mica powder on it and put it in the oven and we're going to see what I come up with. So, um, these are reversible. So that you can, I mean, on this particular pattern, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you'll have impressions and parts that are raised. And I don't think it really matters. So let's go right side up just so I don't lose track of where I'm at and what I'm doing. So we're going to put it down and give it a roll. And we don't want to, we want to roll hard enough to get a good impression and get the clay squished up into the parts of the texture sheet, but you don't want to roll so hard that it squishes the clay completely flat. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So let's get it up off the, uh, ooh. Wow. Come on. Gee, many Christmas. And we'll cut off the edge here. And... I'm going to, no, I'm going to redo it and, no, I'm not, because we don't want a lot of the blue showing. We want it mostly white, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it down, and my head's probably going to be in there for a second. Sorry, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into where it's squared off. And then we'll do some mica powder on it. And I have no idea what this is going to look like after baking. I haven't ever used this clay before. And a lot of times the raw form, like it might darken up. It might lighten up. Lighten up. Uh, lighten up. But, um, and I'll just bake it as a sheet because I'll cut it down. Um, so let's do... And I'm not going to use a brush for this because you just want to do a light rub and, oh God, my finger is going to object, but we're going to do our best. Let me, seriously, come on, Jerry, get it together. And let's see what it looks like after we rub some powder on it here. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this. Kind of looks like ice in a glacier. Just doing a light rub. I don't know what this particular color of mica powder is called, aside from it's some form of a white pearl. Um, the uh, Michael's brand of mica powder, they have numbers. And it'll say conforms to, and then it gives a number. So I have no idea. But it's okay. 
I'm tapping the my finger on the cutting board to knock the loose powder off. Um, I found that if I don't do that, because I'm kind of a heavy hand, then all the powder goes down into the crevices and that defeats the purpose of what we're trying to do here. So, um, so when I get a little bit on my finger and then I tap it off and then tap back on it again, so it, you don't have clumps. Clumps are bad. No idea what that was. It looked like a little speck of purple. Not quite sure how that ended up there, but but anyway, I just thought this might be an interesting um, filler tile option. I won't use a lot of it, but I might have like two or possibly three pieces of it on the polar bear mosaic. I probably should have started the video with the uh, in progress mosaic on the camera so that you guys. I figure I, you know, from the last video, you guys should know where I'm at and what I'm working on. So, yeah. Liking that. So, I mean, I don't know that it necessarily matches, but it is a variety of blues that I'm using. Um, so, just give a different, see, I'll bring this back in. And don't drop it, Sherry. Don't drop it, Sherry. Don't drop it, Sherry. So here's our kind of in progress. No, I think it'll be all right. I think that'll be all right. Okay, let's put that on a baking tile. And get that going. Okay. And then I wanted to do a stencil and I wanted to do the snowflakes and I want to do the paw prints. So yeah, I've got four different things we're going to do tonight. Move this back out of the way. I forgot to put it up earlier this week and I'm very proud of uh, Garfield that if he did jump up on my craft table at any point this week, he did not land on my craft table so all right oops so the last time I used this color I actually opened a whole new package because I'm trying to get it separated because it was really weird it was like completely two different colors of blue, but it was the same. Wow, why is it so stuck together? Why? Why? Why are the crafting clay gods doing this to me? Come on. So I don't know if, like, it was sitting in the sun and got bleached, or if it's a bad batch, or what, but... I had it separated at one point. But yeah, it's like two different shades of blue. See? Can you tell? Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. But I can tell, and it bugs me. Um, and let's see which one I like better. I like that one better. Of course, the one that's a big old hot mess. That's okay, though. Alright. So let me get this going. And then I'm going to do the... Um... Can't squeeze. Can't squeeze. Ow. The snowflake stamp on this. You guys, I am a hot mess. This whole week driving the truck, I was just in agony because both hands were hurting. And, you know, kind of kind of necessary. Got to hold on to the steering wheel, right? I don't know. 
I think the next time I go in for checkup, talk to the doctor about it. I just know that it's going to probably end up being some form of surgery, which means I'm going to be off work. And <laughs> I definitely cannot afford that right now. So we are just keeping a leave and uh, ibuprofen in business this week, to be honest. And just trying to uh, muddle through. And usually what happens is it'll, whatever's got it all irritated, it'll simmer down. And um, it has been off and on storming all week, so humidity is probably a factor. Wow, look at it just like that. I don't know you guys. I don't know. I'm a hot mess, that's for sure. So, um, I did see Midnight the Yard Cat a few times this week. I never really actually saw him eat anything. But he did come out and let me pick him up and pet him for a minute. And then I would put him down to get food for him and he would disappear. So... Um, so this, this morning when he came out, um, I didn't let go of him until I had the can of food open and I sat down on the ground with him and had him right in front of the can of food and he still had no interest in it. So I'm really worried about him. I'm just, I'm hoping he's just not wanting to eat because of the, the rain or because of it's getting hotter or, you know, maybe he's eating something else. Somebody else is feeding him and I don't know about it. I don't know. He looks a little better. I will say that about him. I just would feel better if he would eat in front of me. So, all right. So we're going to do... Snowflake stamps, and I'm going to do it with the silver, silver ink, because I don't have white. Do they even make white ink? If they don't, they should. All right. I'm sure they probably do. So let's see how we like this. Yeah, I like that. So I'll do a couple more strips and then we'll cut it down and I'll re-roll and do a few more. Because this is going to be filler. I don't want to overlap. I'm just going to do separate strips. And I still want to do the bear paw print. Still I'm completely locked into what I'm going to do. I feel like I want to do it on white. Possibly with black ink. Or navy blue ink. That's what I'm thinking on. Which reminds me. Um, shout out to Barbara for taking the time to comment on my last video. Um, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to do so. So I just wanted to say that. It's appreciated. So... Okay. 
Sorry guys, I should have warned you, I was adjusting you. And again, souffle is the best type of clay for cutting after baking. And so anytime I'm doing some kind of a texture sheet or a stamped pattern where I want to be able to cut it down or a um, stencil that I want to be able to cut apart, I try to use some version of souffle. It just, it's the best for, for that type of. Now, if it's something that's not getting cut down, like an embedded item, then I will use mostly pearl, sometimes glitter for embedded. If I'm stamping on it and then I'm planning on coloring, then I'll use like a light color of just regular Sculpey 3 or regular Primo and then color with either my mica powders or um, alcohol ink markers. So, all right. I don't know if I want to do a bunch of these or if three is going to be sufficient. I mean, I'm not going to use a lot of it. I think three will be sufficient. That's what I think. Especially with the new glacier thing that I just made. Alright. And then... I pulled out a couple of... I have another texture sheet that's kind of like a fur... And I was thinking about doing it on either a white or like the butter yellow. Because, you know, polar bears kind of have a yellowish tint to their fur sometimes. And I thought about doing the impression on it and then rubbing it with white, but I decided not to. So I eliminated that one. I had also pulled out this texture sheet that is snowflakes. But um, they were so big that um, I just I decided I wanted to use the stamp instead. So then I have these two stencils. I have my favorite swirly. You guys have seen me use this one many, many times, I'm sure. But then I also have this one, which this way it kind of looks like flames. Which, so when I do my fireman themed mosaic I'll have to remember that I have this and do like red and orange and yellow mica powders on there that'd be awesome but I think if I do it this way I don't know kind of waves kind of maybe bear claw scratches I don't know um I don't know let's do the bear paw prints we need those for sure so um, silvers. I think we're going to go silver. And it's just a question of silver glitter or plain silver. And they are boys, so I think I would go plain silver. No, I think I want to do white. You guys love how I keep changing my mind. All right, so this is white glitter, because I've told you uh, glitter represents snow to me. And um, then I just have to decide if I'm going to do um, black ink or navy blue ink, because either one would work. Because I kind of view it as like if it was um, 
you know, because it's like their their paw print in the. Could also do it in the silver ink. That's an off uh, possibility as well. I'm just, it's picked up a few other colors out of my pasta machine, so I'm just continuing to roll it through till it blends enough that I'm not bothered by it. One more time. It's all right. All right. Um... Could do silver, could do black, could do navy blue. Feeling like black because we have so much blue going on. And I feel like uh, silver would be too subtle on the white. Yeah, I'm feeling like black. Just that pop of black and white. I think that's what I had said last time. So I'm going to do eight. So I'll have four for each. Each mosaic. Doesn't necessarily mean I'll use all eight. And whatever I don't use will go into... One of the photo boxes for probably the winter or maybe the forest animal one because it is bare paw prints and it could be regular bear regular bear i don't even know okay let's see what we think here And I'm going to cut them individual because I'm going to need them for so small spaces. So I'm not going to try and do a, like a line of paw prints. So. Don't know. Navy blue and silver might have been just as good. But I think I'm going to like the pop and the, ooh, that slipped. Yeah, we're okay. And the um, contrast. That was really close. All right. Let's get these cut apart. stamp back before I before I lose it I have a whole basket over here you guys of stamps that need to be the sets need to be put back together and they need to go back into their appropriate binders it's a hot mess my desk over there all right So we got our snowflakes, paw prints, 
that kind of glacier texture. And that's probably all I'm going to do tonight. And then we'll see where I'm at tomorrow and if I need anything else. Because I don't think I'm going to need anything else. Sorry about my head, you guys. This is why I don't bring you guys along sometimes when I'm making them. Because I know it's just my head is constantly in the shot. I need to go to the grocery store. I don't want to. Get a monthly bonus through work. If you're um, if your attendance and your safety score and your um, number of miles that you drive and I don't know there's like five or six other parameters but if you meet them all you get a bonus of anywhere from one to six cents per mile and I do about if I work a full week. It's a little over 2,500 miles in a week. So, around $10,000 in a month. $10,000. <laughs> ha I wish. 10,000 miles. Um, so, at six cents a mile, it's about 600 bucks, which is what it was this month. It's like $632 and some change. So,. And I was like, yay, cushion, until I go to the grocery store and then kiss the cushion goodbye. But I am down to pretty much nothing. My cupboards are bare. I finished my Pepsi tonight. Definitely going to need some more of that for tomorrow. Because I am a Pepsi-aholic, totally. And... I don't know, probably shouldn't have said that. That might be offensive to... Uh-oh. Okay, we're okay. The ink was dry. So... Did not want to get out of bed today because both my cats were up on the bed with me. And they were like butt to butt. And they were so cute. I got a great picture of them. I didn't want to get up, but... I had to use the bathroom, so then as soon as I get out of the bed, Garfield goes, Oh boy, where are we going? And is there going to be food when we get there? And he's just hot on my heels no matter where I go. Because I know you guys can tell from the previous Garfield videos on my channel that, you know... I don't feed him at all. I just he's just wasting away. <laughs> Not. So my chunky butt. Not mine, his. <laughs> oh, I need to go to bed. So here's our glacier texture and our snowflakes and our bare paw prints. And that was really loud and I'm really sorry. Yeah, but I do want one more stencil. I just gotta think. I don't know. This is kind of... kind of want to do my swirls, you guys. You know what's funny is I have the, that swirls, the swirls I did for my golf mosaic last year that are green and blue, and I'm wondering if I could just cut 
But no, because I think I mixed all the colors together. I don't think I could eliminate green. Although there is just a scotch of green on these with the green tree button and the green mica powder. So that actually, hmm. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Hang on, you guys. And when I grab the correct box, that's terrifying. Um, these boxes are, you can buy them like 10 packs at like Walmart and I think they have them at Dollar Tree too, but, um, I just save them from whenever I buy, uh, chicken strips from the truck stop that this is what they come in. And, uh, so I just save them and wash them out really good and use them for things in progress or things that need to be sorted. Um. That would be good, too. I don't know how much of that I have. But I do have the... Um, these are tiles that I have made for other projects or pulled for other projects and then didn't use them and they just haven't been sorted back into the appropriate boxes yet. And then I forget I have them, and yeah. Gosh. Might as well pull that out too. That may not necessarily be a bad thing. All right. I think that's all I want to pull out of here. Yeah, I don't think we need to do more swirls because um, oh I have no more room over here, you guys. It's really bad because here, look. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, so yeah, I think the little bit of green would not necessarily be a bad thing. It would pull the green in from there, and when I rework this, because I did use some green mica powder there, I'll probably, like, switch these, so it's green and green, um, and then I am going to, like, slide this in and have tiles along the edge here. And um, slide this in and have tiles along the edges here. And I like that much better. And then, um, yeah, just, you know, wine. Oops. Told you, fingers hurting. I think it's all right with a little bit of green. What do you guys think? I think it works. And then I also have this that I can cut apart as um, another option. And then don't forget, I still have all these. I think we're good. I don't think I need to make any more tiles. So um, I'm gonna get these tiles in the oven. And um, when I come back next time, well, you know what? I need to color these. We can do that real quick. I'm gonna do it with alcohol inks. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me get these out of the way. Find the other three of these. Whoopsie. And I need to do Alika's name. Ah, I can do that off camera. Okay. Oopsie. All right. Alcohol inks. This is a set I got off Amazon. Um, it came in like a black pouch, but 
um, I took it out of the pouch and put it in the drawer here. So, and it came with two cards, their version, and then I colored with the actual markers. So, because, you know, a lot of them are close, but like you can see this one and this one are not quite the same. Things like that. Okay, so. I need 185, 69, and 70, and maybe 76. This is the downside of this method. They fit in the drawer really well, but. All right, and blues. We're going to pull out all the blues. for your input this is interesting that there's three different colors called blue gray why is that four all four of these are called blue gray that is very bizarre bg one three five and seven one three five and seven so it's lighter and then darker and they all look gray to me so don't want to use any of them. More blues. Ouch. Pale light blue. Not going to use all of them. I'm going to do a quick test run on paper. Because each of these have... Let me get these out of the way. I'm a hot mess. Yeah, I'll fix that later. <clears throat> Because I want to do, I decided I wanted to go, um, like, dark to light. So I need four different colors of blue. And I know I want a dark navy blue, and it looks like 69 or 72. So, and then the lightest blue... 185, there's 183, it's not even close, there's the 185, and then this is 76, that is not, that's sky blue, supposedly. So I have this color, this color, this color. I think I want 70. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's do this and see how I feel about it. Maybe I'll just do the lightest and the darkest. But I know I'm going to do silver lines. And if I use the lightest blue, this... 
All right, you guys, I don't know. I got to think on this and play with it, so I'm not going to keep you guys for this. I'll uh, come back and let you know what I decide. I'm also going to pull my paints and see how I feel about my paints. This was the other three colors that I set aside. And I actually like that one. No, that's too teal. I like that blue. Hang on, you guys. Am I even in the shot? Oh, wow, I am. Yay, me. I don't know. I might just want to do blue and white with the silver lines. In which case, I'd probably do this. No. Maybe these two. Kind of like that. Kind of feeling that, you guys. With the... Uh... No, I'll probably just use a Sharpie. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for my silver sharpie. I haven't labeled my wood drawers yet. Aha. It's actually not a sharpie. It's a metallic marker. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do these two colors of blue with the silver. All right, you guys, I think that's it for now. Um, when I come back next time, we should be ready to start laying it out. All right, thanks so much for watching.